Hello friends, welcome to today's review. You know, there are some watches that I enjoy so much that I have to buy them more than once. That's what happened with this IWC Engineer Homage by IX Dow. It was just so well executed that I ended up selling my green one for this white dial. All of the available dial colors look so good that it's hard to pick and I really want to try each one. I also want to try the ones with the logo only version. Now, today I'll be doing a full review on this watch, and I also happen to be reviewing another very popular watch at the moment, this Citizen Toyosa. And I found that these are very similar in dimensions, not to mention they both have the integrated bracelet, so I thought it would be an interesting comparison. Now guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and let's begin the review. This one is 39 and a half millimeter diameter. Lug to lug on the case is 45. And with the male end links, it ends up being 48.3. But the bracelet does drape down right away from the case. The thickness is 10.5 up to this flat sapphire crystal with clear AR coating. The bracelet width at the case is 23 and a half and it tapers down really nicely to 17 and a half to this butterfly clasp. So no micro adjustments and no half links. The weight size for my six and a half inch wrist is 140 grams and I had to remove four links to make it fit. This is running the PT 5000 movement and I measured it as minus 1.7 seconds per day. The case finishing and the bracelet finishing for that matter is superbly executed here by IXD. It has a fine brushed finishing on the lugs and a nice fine circular finishing on the uh, bezel. I ordered this one from AliExpress and it did show up a little bit dirty, so there was some dirt inside the holes here uh, in the bezel uh, and on the grooves of the crown. With the green one that I initially had, I had some trouble fully screwing the crown back down. It just felt uh, very tight, and it did improve over time uh, the more I uh, unscrewed and screwed the crown back in. This one, however, does not have that issue. so. I know that's been a concern, so let's unscrew the crown and have a look. So I'll do it on camera so you can have a look at, uh, at how much I struggle or do not struggle. So here is the crown all the way out. And I'll pull the crown, pull the crown out to adjust the time and push it back in and I'll screw it back in now. And there we go. So crown has been screwed in all the way. And this one I'm very happy to report has no issues with the crown operation. That's really nice to see. I sent them a note saying that when I purchased my first one, the crown operation was pretty tight. So I don't know if they worked on it to make any adjustment, but this piece, the crown operates just fine. The sides of the case match that similar uh, brushed finishing. There's a well-executed polished chamfer that runs along the length of the case. The proportion and size of the crown guards seems to be just about right. The finishing on the bracelet and case matches perfectly and you've got the polished uh, accents on that bracelet on the edges there and in the uh, tops of the center links which look really nice uh, has that nice uh, little shimmer and looks like a much more expensive watch on the wrist and you can see the logo and the branding on uh, on the bracelet here also very nicely done there's no roughness or sharpness when I run my fingers across the outer edges of the bracelet. I did feel some sharpness on the last link on these corners. These are quite sharp, 
Uh, luckily, these do not make contact with my skin, so I've had no issues uh, with feeling any sharpness there. The butterfly clasp operates really nice and smooth. The click is nice, nice and tactile and satisfying. Underside of the case is a touch sharp, um, but again, it doesn't dig into your wrist. And this one does not have any uh, quick release pins for the bracelet. And so far, I haven't seen any uh, aftermarket strap options on AliExpress uh, in terms of any rubber or leather options. That would be great to have, especially since these bracelets don't have uh, micro adjustments or half links, so they may not fit perfectly for everyone. The other thing they can do is release a half link. That would be much, much appreciated. Now zooming into that dial, amazing details and finishing. Uh, I would call it a jet white dial and the BGW9 loom is nice and, and stark white also. And the hands and indices match up perfectly. The white date wheel with the silver framing also really nicely done. All of the applied indices are nicely polished uh, to a high quality. I did see some recent posts on Reddit uh, where somebody's uh, indices on their watch were not aligned properly. And I've been looking at this one with my eye loop, trying to figure out if there's any misalignment. And the only one I can see is possibly this nine o'clock applied index is slightly lower than where it should be but overall they do not appear to be misaligned to me. The one thing that I didn't pick up on in the pictures was the minute tracker on the outside. Also has a, a nicely applied um, circular finishing, which uh, accents nicely with that uh, amazing IWC designed dial. So the indices and handset of course are all polished silver and the text on the dial and the printing is actually done in black and just amazing level of detail and quality to that printing. This brand, I hope they put out more and more uh, watches uh, on AliExpress because their quality uh, seems to be really, really good. Here's a close up of the finishing on the bracelet. There you can see the quality of the brushing, very consistent, matching the case finishing just perfectly. The articulation on the bracelet links has been excellent. No issues uh, with the links binding up or anything like that. All of the screws uh, I was able to remove uh, easily. No issues of the screws getting stuck. No issues of the links not fitting in uh, when doing the adjustment to the sizing. That happens from time to time, especially with bracelets from AliExpress. And just zooming in there so you can take a look at that finishing on the bracelet. And now as we move towards the case, as you can see, just great finishing by these guys. Amazing level of detail. There's, there's that polished chamfer. Just an excellent execution on this watch. And here is a close up of that uh, crown and the crown guards. And while we're here, we'll take a look at the case back. 10 bar water resistant with that screw down crown. So I bought into the hype and I ended up purchasing one of these citizens and I'll give it a quick comparison with this IXD. I'll go over the dimensions of the citizen just for reference, very similar to the IWC homage there. So this one also has a diameter of 39 and a half case lug to lug is 45 ends up being a longer lug to lug with the longer male end links at 49. And this one is noticeably thicker at 12.2 
compared to the 10.5 on the IXD. Also got a flat sapphire crystal, also with clear AR coating. Bracelet, similar dimensions. This one is 21.8 as opposed to the 23.5. So narrower bracelet, which tapers down to the same 17.5. So more dramatic taper on the IXD. I'll show you that side by side. There you can see the taper on the bracelets. Not as dramatic on this Citizen President bracelet. Uh, totally different styles, of course. And my hand's a little bit shaky because of the coffee, but moving on to the clasp on this one, it does have the three micro adjustments and the push button deployment, although this does have the stamped mechanism. The IXD, as I mentioned, was 140 grams, and the Citizen is actually noticeably lighter at 125. And compared to the PT5000, this one is running the 8000 series Miyota movement. It does have the hacking seconds on this uh, new special uh, green and it's running at a plus 25.4 seconds per day. Case finishing on this one, again, not nearly at the same level of detail, so there you'll see noticeably chunkier, but this one just has a polished side profile. Unsigned crown, of course, and the crown is really difficult to operate. It is a push-pull crown which gives this one only 50 meters of water resistance uh, as opposed to the nice easy to operate easy to grip crown on the IXD and this one also has a heavier brushed finish on the case compared to the IXD hopefully that's coming through on the camera and I'll zoom in in a moment here on the Citizen Again, just for fun, similar pricing between the two and a similar type of a look between these two watches. This one, uh, back to the Citizen for a moment. To finish off, it's got the polished uh, bezel and then it's got the President style bracelet like I, like I showed earlier. The finishing doesn't match perfectly with the case. It's a finer brush finish on the bracelet, heavier on the case and the other noticeable difference it's got the longer lug to lug with that longer end link but this one also does taper down flat and hug the wrist although when I wear it it ends up looking like a longer watch even though it's only about a millimeter and a half longer the other thing is this ends up looking like a more uh, like a taller and more of an oval shaped stretched out when it's on your wrist again due to that lug to lug and due to the narrower bracelet as opposed to the wider bracelet this ends up looking more balanced and more circular for a better for lack of a better description and here's what I mean by that so this one a little bit jingly jangly most of that sound coming from the clasp actually the bracelet links are all solid and feel good quality. It's just the clasp that's a little bit rattly. The comfort and fit and finish of the bracelet is it's quite nice actually on the Citizen. But there you can see it sticks out a little bit, which makes that lift off my wrist as opposed to the IXD, which I'll show in a moment. That one sits much nicer and hugs the wrist. And of course, it sits much taller due to that thickness. And I was surprised at the lack of coverage that the thickness has gotten in the reviews. It kind of seems like something overlooked, but this this type of a integrated sports uh, integrated bracelet sports watch with a dressier dial, I would much prefer if it was a little bit thinner. That 12.2 thickness really does stand out. Probably the major difference between the two watches in terms of how they fit. The dial on this one is really nice, beautiful, peaceful green. 
applied indices, but they don't have nearly the same type of uh, level of detailing and, and depth as the IXD. And the date there, uh, no, uh, no framing on the date. It does have the controversial magnifier, of course. And here is what I meant by how the IXD wears flatter. So it happens to fit perfectly on my six and a half inch wrist. And there you see, it just hugs the wrist a little bit better and it doesn't stick up as much like this. It stays a little bit flatter. And again, that's a combination of it being thinner and the lug to lug being shorter and the bracelet being wider so it, it just looks like a more balanced watch on my wrist as opposed to the Citizen. Amazing green dial here on the Citizen has a slight sunburst effect it looks really amazing in outdoor lighting has been fun to wear lots of great color options and here is a close-up the two watches next to each other. Similar pricing, similar type of a look with the integrated bracelet, type of a sports watch. Similar overall dimensions, both at about a diameter of 39 and a half millimeters. And there you can see the Citizen case overall just has a different type of a look. Like it's stretched out due to that uh, narrower bracelet uh, at the case. Whereas the IWC homage with the wider bracelet uh, gives it a different, different look. So here is the loom after it's been charged by the studio lights for about 15 minutes. Of course, the Citizen with the proprietary Citizen loom versus the IXD on the left with that blue BGW9. I would say the loom department there almost equal the hands definitely brighter on the IXD just with the, a greater area for loom application well both of these are fantastic options if you want an integrated bracelet sports watch then both of these should be on your shortlist if you want an original design even though it does take cues from Rolex then this citizen is probably your choice Although if you want to experience a much, much more expensive watch, at least a homage to one, then this IX DAO is the one for you. I hope you enjoyed this one. Now make sure you go check out some of my other reviews.